Welcome back. Real quick today, I just want to highlight for parents who have children. I have a three-year-old child. If you're new to this channel, my name is Jake Steiner. I used to have minus five diopter high myopia. I now have 20-20 eyesight. I didn't do Bates method or eye exercises or LASIK or eye vitamins or any of that stuff. I reversed my myopia the only way that is actually possible with science and understanding basic vision biology. If you're a parent and you have a young child, my only serious number one point of advice is no screens, no screens, no screens. TV is fine. Screens at a distance that is a fixed distance away from the child for some short periods of time is fine. Giving the child a smartphone with YouTube running and cartoons on it is not fine. If you do that, your child will become myopic in a relatively short period of time. Absolutely. No question about it. And I see this a lot. Like I was on the subway the other day and there was a, a, an infant in a stroller which seemed too young to even hold like a milk bottle and it was clinging on to a smartphone watching cartoons like at like this distance. It's tragic. A child that young, the eye is actively developing. Like when you, when you have kids, look this stuff up, don't just trust me, but babies are hyperopic. Like they can't see clearly up close. The way the eye develops, the eye is developing after the child is born, right? Like, the, of course, a lot of eye development happens in vitro, blah, blah, blah. But once the child is born, vision is still not fully developed. So a lot of the eye's calibration happens from environmental input. The child seeing the world shapes the length of the eyeball for correct focus. And this happens throughout your life, actually. It never stops. It's not like there's this misinformation that after puberty or whatever, your eye stops changing in length. That's absolutely not true. But the most active seeking part of this development happens in young childhood. Last thing you want is to do this to your child. I know it's convenient parenting. I have a three-year-old. I have a big family and people try to give my kid a phone when he's crying and complaining. And I've said no so many times and I'm kind of known as the smartphone tyrant because I will not permit my kid to be holding on to a smartphone at this distance and watching cartoons. It doesn't happen. Never, ever, 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 ever. And if you're a parent, you don't have the unfortunate exposure that I have where I open my email on a daily basis, on an everyday basis. I have multiple emails from parents going, help, my five-year-old was diagnosed with myopia. Help, my three-year-old. Help, my two-year-old. Every day, every day. And my first question used to always be, does your child get to hold a smartphone and watch cartoons? And the answer is always yes. And I get it, right? Like, it's easy. You do that, child stops crying, child's quiet. It's like a parenting hack shortcut. But think of it like, if you ever heard the stories of the grandparents who used to put a drop of alcohol in the child's milk bottle so the child will go to sleep, it's like that. Like it's, it's not a brilliant idea. It might seem to work at the time, but it's not a brilliant idea because you're paying for that quiet time with myopia. Because that, I discuss this in other videos, it's kind of too much of a topic for just this one video, but basically this distance, right? Prolonged exposure over the, of this distance causes the first myopia symptom. Watch more videos. I'll try to link some stuff below. Why that happens, the basic biology. But basically, you do not want to do this. This is not an acceptable shortcut to parenting. Giving a child a smartphone, highly irresponsible. Smartphones in general are highly irresponsible. But you're an adult. You can make your own choices. You don't give your kid coffee either, right? You hopefully don't put alcohol in your kid's milk to sleep. Smartphones are not an acceptable substitute. Your child will end up with glasses at a young age. Second point, bonus point. If you go to an optometrist with a young child and you get a diagnosis that's anywhere from, uh, that's anywhere up to minus two doctors, two doctors or less, don't get your kids glasses. Don't get your kids glasses until you do at least several weeks worth of reading on N-myopia. 
understand basic vision biology, understand causes of myopia, understand what will happen if you put minus lenses in front of a young child's eye. Remember this child development thing I was talking about. Minus lenses that are meant for distance vision and are already a bad idea to begin with, in close-up, combined with a smartphone in front of the eyes, are going to increase the child's myopia by a diopter a year easily, for sure. And if you don't trust me, if you don't believe me, you shouldn't trust me, but if you don't believe me and you want to find out for yourself, go for it, right? Be my guest. But you will absolutely find that the child's myopia will increase dramatically if you combine the smartphone cartoon use with minus lenses. It's a terrible idea. Caveat, disclaimer, if there is a medical condition, right? Like if your child is cross-eyed, if your child can't see, if your child has vision conditions that are diagnosed by a proper eye doctor, an ophthalmologist, not a guy who just sells lenses, that's not my area. I don't deal with medical conditions. If your child has some vision deficiency, don't throw away the child's glasses. If the child legitimately needs glasses because there's some developmental issue, by all means, listen to the people who know what they're talking about. Not me, right? I'm talking about less than two diopters, healthy eyes, normal child, the problem being smartphone cartoon use. That's all I'm talking about, right? Like don't be, don't go off the deep end. Like this is not conspiracy theory stuff. This is not like crazed health nature stuff. If there's something wrong, modern medicine oftentimes has great answers, right? Definitely don't take this, this idea, like sometimes people take this one idea and try to apply it to everything, right? Like it doesn't work for everything. It doesn't work for medical conditions. What we're talking about will not address child eye developmental medical conditions. It only works for pseudomyopia, near-induced transient myopia, staring at screens, avoiding developing myopia from wearing low to minus glasses. That's it, right? So be careful, don't trust random internet people. All I'm saying in this video is read enough about vision biology to make educated decisions. Don't just buy glasses from a guy who all they do is sell glasses, right? And that's it, that's all I'm gonna say about this. If you like this video, do whatever. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one.